おいでヤギ沼はん、仏はんはどこ行きましたのナスメレイズナイブラウシュフェイスヤギ沼の h a l l of CID Section 1まだ自供は得られていませんよおや、珍しいですなそれは鬼の八兵衛でしょうが、別人ですよああ、そうでしたかまあ、あちらさんは行産事件を解決してますからな<笑>僕だって多くの事件を解決に導いているんですが、uh, えっとマスキーチャイムでもフォーデュークスチューでカンバーセーションにフォーデュークスチューでカンバーセーションにフォーデュークスチューでカンバーセーションにフォーデュークスチューでカンバーセーションにフォーデュークスチューでカンバーセーションにフォーデュークスチューでカンバーセーションにフォーデュークスチューでカンバーセーションにフォーデュークスチューでカンバーセーションにフォーデュークスチューでカン God, let's just bring the whole gang along. Asuki watched as Nanako was escorted into an uninviting interrogation room. Nanako san. Her face was pallid, possibly because she hasn't fully recovered from her suicide attempt. Naori no ibasho wa to. Wakaranai wa. Kare wa hotondo tenkei kai no imeshitsu ni ita kara. Kuro ya Naori no jumin hyo wa tenkei kai no hombu de toorok sare teiru. Shoktakui to yu hanashi datta ga. Zuibun to naibu ni kui konde iru yo desu ne. 私は極力典型会には関わらないようにしていたから詳しいことは分かりません以前直りと会った時典型会の医務室を間借りしている仕事場だと言ってましたあそこで寝泊まりしているとも思えませんあいつは他の場所に自宅を構えているんじゃないですかうちで寝泊まりしていることもあの血のついた布団を放置していた家でですか直りは知っているんですか彼が気づかないはずないじゃないそうですねあいつはずっと悟いやつでしたから思い出話はどうでもいい黒や直りはどのようにしてそれはあのお部屋にありましたお布団さんの仏藩がしばらく乗っかっとった痕跡がありましたよね大の大人の仏藩うちらみたいな細腕で運ぶのは骨が折れますわの。治りが手伝ったんですかそこまでは分かりまへん。せやけどそうでもせな、とても持っていけやしまへん。そうでしょうね。アスキー could attest as much, having carried many bodies on the battlefield himself。まあ、それに関わっとったとしたら、死体気もつきますけどな。どうなのですか答えられません。なんか shook her head. The answer was as good as a confession. I wish she had a right to remain silent. As such, they'd need either an outright confession or solid evidence to build a case against Naori. Unfortunately, it was unlikely they'd find any proof after this long, meaning they'd have to prod the former out of her instead, though there was still something that needed clarification first. Nanako san, I t s n o j i t a k o she t a k u t a s a i Kareva h i k u j i d e m o j u b u n a t i s k u s u n a t i m a s k i could tell then and there that she'd take. That she'd take Naori's whereabouts to the grave she had to. Natsume stared at Nanako right in the face. Nanako shook her head. Nanako held her tongue. こちらで戸籍を調べたところあなたにも黒や直りにも配偶者および着出士はいませんでした出生届が出されておらへんとちゃうおそらくそうでしょうねそしてなおかつそれはもちろんあなたが知らないことかもしれませんから我々はぜひとも黒や直りさんに話が聞きたいんですよエグカウスプレスナナコナナコさん Well, Masuki addressed her in a gentle voice. Ah, Akachan, no, ha, ha, oya, wa, kore made no jiken to wa, mukan ke des, sono, jose, no, tame ni mo. Akachan, no, tame ni mo. Ayatok. Ah, no, Akachan, wa, Nanako san ni to. Masuki couldn't bring himself to finish that sentence. Hontoni, Anako no, ha, oya, no, koto, wa, shira nai des. Nanako finally caved in. Sono, hito, wa, shu, san ni wa, tae rare nai, hodo, sui, jak, shite i mas ta. Dem, それを生きながらえさせ、出産まで持たせたのは、間違いなく直りさんの力です。亡くなりはったのあの子を産んですぐ。あの子は、ハング当然、死亡届も出していないでしょうね。わかりません
voice was as quiet as a single raindrop in a hurricane. Nimp no Yukue Fumesha or Arau Hitsiogari saw this, ne? O son of it is the Ototino. They were sick. I not a gumbo tetos them. Me says you could see this, eh? Mother said to go so good. Nanako's countenance distorted with concern. So now he'll show Sirukura des Dara. Kitchen to so that it ain't Jamas. This one, the Shivakari was seen as the Nanako. So I got Hontoni a gumbo no shia was any Naruto, Moimaska. Maski recalled Satsuki. It seemed neither Satsuki nor Ayako had ever possessed legal citizenship. No, two of them had been forced to live in that storehouse, even though they'd just bit even though they'd been just about the same age as Masaki and his friends. As such, Masaki didn't want anyone else to suffer the way they had. After all, people like Huyumi, who could live a normal life with an illegal family register, were one in a million. <laughs> Nanako lowered her head again. <laughs> Nanako gave in at last. Hinagami say you can hold your job this car. So they were more than this time. This is most of you are in a dishonor. Nanako smiled ever so slightly. It was the carefree smile of someone who'd finally had a heavy burden lifted off their shoulders. I had to conduct that I got it. So this is this. Dakara to eat the Shirabena, you can you can. Nanika no cotter cano se marimas coron. Show say you'd scammy shiday. Mm hmm. And they're gonna run into Reiji up there. Yep. Doji and I had been searching the mountains for three days straight. We'd questioned the locals while we were at it, but found no one else had seen Shinji Mamiya. Even I knew it was unlikely he was still lurking in the area. Furthermore, all the buildings we'd found had either been abandoned or occupied by people with no connection to him whatsoever. We'd gone so far as to turn those places inside out, yet still hadn't unearthed even the tiniest of clues. Doji glanced at her watch. There were no landmarks or anything in these mountains, so we'd be more lost than the Mary Celeste if we didn't make it back while it was still bright out. It was with that thought in mind that I took a map of the area and opened it. There I'd marked the routes we'd checked and the buildings we'd searched. Doji and I had investigated a good portion of the area north of the dam by this point. We carefully started the map and marked a rough estimate of the road we'd taken. Turned around, Doji leading the way. What? <laughs> さい初に行方がわからなくなった時にはな。口聞いとこか。ああ。諦めてはいたが。見つけ出してやらなくてはならないと思うようになったんだよ。自分自身のためか。だろうな。納得したいのだろうさ。その間宮真司が彼女をず
came to a halt when I saw Yaginuma by one of the guards. Yaginuma? Nande o my kokuni? So never caught Chino Serif this year, Senpai. Doste? Yeah. Nanto not so so what's Kimasta. Yaginuma turned Toji's way. Do you have a sotira demo nanica scande rio de sne? Sotira to Cosira. Onajimono or Tayo to Momo. This could get ugly. Tokisokoso. Fortunately, not oblivious Mosky butted in before the situation escalated. お前も来ていたのか。うん。でもどうして時坂さんがここに何があるんだ。ちょっと。そうですね。でも柳沼さんか。あいつはダメだ。こちらの情報を聞こえてますよ、先輩。<笑> As much as I can, huh? So he is gonna hide some stuff on me. Asshole. So it was that we traded information. Crippling wave of gloom had swept over me. My insights churning. そうですね。ただ、こう喋らなくていい。そうですね。さっきの空の少女事件の聴取中、口唇病院。当時の口唇が研究所の所長に固く口止めされていますからね。黙れ、ヤギノマ。ええ、言いませんよ。口木安田だ
floors were smothered with thin layers of dust, being it clear no one had visited in quite some time. The glass cabinets in particular were so filthy that I couldn't even tell what was in them. Eriyama took a step inside and headed toward a desk by the wall. I did as I was asked, leaving footprints in my wake. An eerie aura took hold of me the moment I entered the room. Windows nailed down with bulky boards, medicine bottles littering the cupboards, the bed, solitary in the room's center, like an altar. It was almost like this had been an infirmary. No, an operating room, judging from the rusty forceps and scalpels lying around. That said, this place didn't look sanitary by any stretch of the mind. So whatever surgeries had gone down had likely been relatively minor. A stack of journals, sitting on a table in the corner, caught my eye just then. I grabbed the top one and flipped it open. <gasps> I failed to keep myself from gasping. Inside was a photo. It depicted a girl on the bed I'd just seen. A girl without limbs. Her abdomen was swollen. IV tubes were stuck into her as well. September 15th, approximately 25 weeks. Pregnancy entering third trimester. Early enough for potential survival of infant, however the mother's health is failing. That was the entry written under the photo. She was alive. I checked another journal. November 6th, approximately 33 weeks. Mother suffered cardiac arrest, subsequently performed cesarean section. Delivered 1300 gram baby girl placed in incubator for cat catamnestic observation. After that entry, there was nothing further regarding the mother. The handwriting greatly resembled the penmanship from the Sheep of Purgatorio's manuscript. So it really was Naori Kuroya's doing. Senpai, demashitayo. Eginuma stepped into the room, only to grimace as soon as he did. That was all I could say. それで。小説の構想ですよ。しわだらけの原稿用紙ではっきりとはしませんが。頭を割ったのか。that's rich coming from the guy who couldn't catch a fugitive who was lugging around a limbless girl. It took all my willpower to swallow those words. Though in Yaginima's defense, it would have been no picnic finding him if he'd been harbored in a place like this. Suddenly the door opened, revealing Toji. Yaginima, there's a Three. Obviously one for Mamiya, one for Toko. Who would the third be? A group of three rocks, seemingly serving as tombstones, were lined up in an overgrown thicket behind the cabin that was relatively devoid of snow. Maski and a police officer were there, both holding shovels. Maski began unearthing the furthest burial mound. Uh, right. Because they would get yeah, right, of course. I had totally forgotten about like the fact that they would have had to have disposed of his body at some point. I'm like, who could the third possibly be? Maski suddenly stopped digging. Police officer carefully excavated the frozen dirt at Yaginuma's command. The skeleton he dug up was missing its right foot. Yeah, but it's got all its limbs, so it's definitely not Toko. 
Now you need to turn to me. You must have been unsettled by my silence. This is gonna cry. I choked those words out. My heart just wouldn't stop racing. This was it. This was where she was resting. Oski started digging up the next grave over, only to freeze once more. The white skull stuck out of the dirt. Possessed a crack from its back to the side. ウシロから襲いかかったのでしょう。獅子もあるし、体格から見ても、マミヤ真治。この古が取りよの羊の着想を得た後で用済みになったからだろうか。葛城神は二人いらないからな。先輩はどうお考えですか先輩。Are Took the shovel from Maski and stood before the only remaining grave. I struck the hardened earth with the tip of the shovel. Slowly, so as not to disturb her sleep. Carefully, so as not to injure her. A short while later, I uncovered a dirty cloth. It had likely been a sheet. But by this point, it had been darkened with earth and water. <laughs> Fell to my knees, scooped up the dirt. All the while refusing to pay heed to the chill and pain. Gradually unearthed more and more of the cloth, and finally at long last. Yep, I figured we would find her in a similar state. Yep. Toko was resting in the ground. Her visage was one of total serenity. Almost as though she were merely sleeping. She not only lost all her limbs, but even given birth. Finding that child came next, no question about that. I reached out and caressed her cheek. Oh. Okay. He found the corpse, but like, he knows who it is. Okay. Hollow eye socket stared back at me. This was the truth. A small, limbless skeleton. Well, I had no proof it was actually her. It was Toko Kachiki, no doubt about it. I knew it in my heart of hearts. And the sight of it filled the hollow shell that was Reichi Tokisaka. Emotions, the likes of which I had never experienced, swelled forth. It wasn't the joy of finding Toko that overwhelmed me. No. Just pure guilt. Guilt and sorrow that I'd forced her to wait in such a terrible place. to her wrenched the, their way out of my heart over and over like mantras. Though deep down, I knew nothing could ever absolve me of my sins. Kairo. Toko. Koko wa totemo samui kara. Third part is trying to check, track down the child. So now I'm curious, is it gonna play out similarly to how this one did? To where somehow there's this other case that eventually ties back into this one? Or 
is the third one just dedicated to him tracking down Naori and the whereabouts of the child. That's why I'm interested to find out. Oh, and now she's gone. She's no longer in the shell. That's our menu screen now. God damn. There's only one more ending to look at. One more way to go. And since this is the part where he splits up from Toji, I imagine it's just something where he gets lost in the woods and ends up dying. If I said I'd go through them all, so I'm gonna go through them all. And uh, I don't think it'll take too long. Let's see how right I may or may not be. So, what about you? I proceeded down the dale. Meanwhile, I looked up at a well trodden mountain path. Okay, let's do this. There's something this way. Further I ascended the path, the steeper and narrower it grew. Couldn't imagine anyone would go further than this. It was with that thought in mind that I turned around and started making my way back down. <laughs> Is it really a bad ending that quickly? But suddenly the ground at my feet crumbled apart. <laughs> Didn't have time to regain my balance. <laughs> Holy f Fuck. Immediately after fucking splitting up, he fucking slips on a path and tumbles to his death. Someone was calling me. I know that voice. Open my eyes. Before me was a pastel ceiling. While surrounding me was the stinging stench of antiseptic. A warm figure hung over me. She was clad in a cream-colored uniform. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Welcome to heaven, bud. Toko was right before my eyes, smiling. <laughs> the back of my head throbbed. Touched to find bandages wrapped around it. Sounds like they sent me to the hospital after I took that nasty spill. Wait, what spill? Why was I there? I could have sworn that I'd been looking for something dear to me, but what? So yeah, that's probably it. Toko wrapped her arms around my head. Her heat seeped right into me. I embraced her with every fiber of my being. Toko blushed and squirmed in my grasp. However, she wasn't seriously trying to get away. <coughs> well, if that was the most unsettled cough in the world. I turned and saw Yukari standing in the doorway. Yukari? Yukari-san. <laughs> Toko let go of me. 
お二人の関係がどうであろうと口は挟めませんから<笑>じゃあ認めてくれるのかなまあお似合いだとは思いますけど<笑> yeah, I sincerely worry about that myself. 兄さんは年を召しているくらいですか愛に年の差なんて関係ないよ、eh, no. だったらよろしいのではありませんか I can. よかったね時坂さんゆかりさんからお許しが出たよ Uh-huh, and this is part of, you know, his paradise after he dies. He's like, ah, oh, I'm reunited with Toko. And oh, look, Yukari, she approves of our relationship. Isn't that wonderful? Toko grit. Oh, <laughs> I visited Moon World once the hospital released me with a clean bill of health. Nanika or Sagaste Yamani Tamadua boy Tirunda Kerna. Muri was in Ihoga in Janaka Shira. Ma, so Dana Korekarawa, Katagino Shigotomo Kangai Tirio. Ara Toko Chan no Tame Nando, my mother Shira Nai to no Hogas. Kyoko smiled dryly. Nemasoka. So not Chano, you name. Naniga. It was at that moment that Toko and company strolled in. Toko hugged me from behind. Toko sat next to me. と仲いいよね、あの <laughs> yeah, this whole situation smells like bullshit, not gonna lie. Toko huddled up to me. Yoko served some coffee just then. Toko put sugar into her coffee. I turned to you, Kiri, since I honestly had no real clue. So, this is a Semon Gakubu de Wanai, Kakse no Bukatsu de Kanari Mezurashi to Moimasio. Ja, boy, why snakcha, ne, Tokisaka kun? Ore Kayo. Ma, Sano Ujina. Hm, Kitai stayed here. Toko and I made our way home together. Yuka didn't go out, I had gone elsewhere with Yukiko to take care of some business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god, am I gonna have to watch El fuck again? Toko clung to my own. <なんでもないよ。ただ>、<laughs> Toko and I had dinner and retired to my room shortly thereafter. Toko hugged me from behind and whispered into my ear. Toko smiled. I flopped under the hood. <laughs> Toko fell after me. <laughs> I laid my head on her lap. Toko gave me a confused look. Bent over and kissed me on the forehead. Ah, 
I cradled Toko's head, drew her close, and kissed her on the lips. Toko cut my cheeks as her tongues locked. She reached down my collar into my shirt. Toko blushed at my teasing. Toko sat up after she finished straightening out her clothes. Yeah, uh, and then she's gonna say something that brings him back to reality, right? They made us sit through that fucking sex scene just so they could be like, oh yeah, and by the way, snap back to reality. I sat up her and gave her my full attention. Misa Rokshiki, huh? She had been the model for the painting Grill and Shell and transmogrified into a flesh and blood version of that very same piece. Italia? うん。Toko shook her head. ってほしいのか。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。トコ。
lifted Toko's thin veil and looked deep into her eyes. Her eyes dwelled with tears. against one another and then I prayed with all my heart that the supreme bliss would live on in this white world forever and ever And there you have it, folks. The end. We've seen every single ending. Every single choice I could possibly make. I think that's why a lot of the earlier routes had me making like really batshit crazy choices. Just so it would essentially it's like a hundred percent guide, so I see every little dialogue choice. Cause some of the choices like why would I ever click that? But yeah, there we have it. The end. And God damn it. Honestly, I am beyond excited for the next one. That's the thing. I finished the first game, right? And I was like, all right, that was good. You know, I'll definitely... Well, actually, I finished it. I thought it was good. And I'm like, yo, when the second one comes around, I'll make sure to add it to my list. I think the real reason I played this one so soon was because... It performed so well on the channel because clearly the people watching enjoyed it so much. It performed very well. So once it did come out, for those of you who pay attention to the community tab, you saw I put it to a poll and people really wanted to see this playthrough. And I'm glad I did. I'm very glad I did. Because initially I didn't have a lot of hype going into this one because I thought the first one was just good, right? I liked it, but it didn't really pull me in. But I'm beyond excited for the third one now, because this one, what the fuck is the instrumental doing right now? <laughs> this, okay, that last section of the instrumental was all over the place, distracted me. But I enjoyed this one so much that I am genuinely hyped for what the third game's going to bring us. I've seen a lot of people in the comments say that the second game, people who've played the entire trilogy say that the second game is their favorite. And I totally get it because this one blew me away. I loved this game. I thought it was phenomenal. Like I said, out of the past three, you know, Eno Grey games that I've played, this is the first one I've 100%ed. That I've gone down every single possibility I've could. I've seen every single ending there is because I was just hooked in everything that was happening in the story. And like I said, I'm still hooked in where the story's going to go. Yeah, no, I love this. This is easily one of my favorite, yo, know, murder mystery stories. Absolutely love that part of it. Um, just as a visual novel in general, it's up there for sure. Maybe top three, definitely top five for sure. I'd have to really think about what I have in my top three, but it's easily top five for sure. This was a phenomenal experience. I love this game. It's amazing. Very excited for what the third game has in store. If we're real lucky at the rate they've been, you know, putting out these uh, remastered localizations, chances are, I'm guessing June, July next year, I, we might have our uh, localization of part three. And if so, can't wait. I can't wait. I, like, that's the thing. My friend who initially put me onto the series, he played the original two releases of these games that were on Manga Gamer. 
And he's been waiting for the third one for a while, and I can't even imagine. Because I've... Like, like I said, at the rate they're going, we should have part three by next year. And even just that one year wait is going to be... It's going to be a long wait. It's going to be one that really drags on for me. I can't imagine the people who have been waiting years upon years upon years for part three to finally come around. At least the English localization, anyway. But yeah, like I said, this was a phenomenal game. I'm glad I... I'm glad that... That you guys who watched the first one, who watched these videos, I'm glad that y'all showed so much love to the first playthrough and that y'all were very adamant about seeing more from this series because I'm, I'm so glad I played this one. This one and Cartagra because they were kind of like a bundled deal because I really enjoyed Cartagra too. I'm glad that y'all were very vocal about wanting to see more of this series and that I definitely, and that I chose to, you know, pursue more in this series because God, I've, I can't say enough good about this game. This game fucking ruled. It was fucking awesome. I loved it. But yeah, at this point, I'm repeating myself. Long story short, amazing game. I loved it. And I can't wait to see what the conclusion to this trilogy brings. With that being said, thank you to everyone who watched. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. And I'll see y'all in whatever it is I play next. Till then.